So, for those of you who don't know, Gigantus is the NPC who teaches you how to lift boulders and jump through cracked spots on the ground in the first level of Skylander's Giants. However, after jumping through the ground into the Chompy Pit, Gigantus is not seen for the rest of the game. So, what could have happened to Gigantus? The most common theory that I've seen online is that he was killed by the Chompies after falling into the Chompy Pit, but I believe that theory only takes about 2 seconds of thinking to be debunked. Gigantus is a giant which means that he has the same abilities as every other giant. One of those abilities is the ability to kill small enemies such as Chompies by simply walking into them. There is no way Gigantus could have been killed by 20 incredibly weak enemies. On top of that, Gigantus is made up of stone, so none of the bones surrounding the arena could possibly have belonged to him. Now I would like you to look at Gigantus. What is one characteristic that separates the stones on his body from the stones inside of the chompy pit? Moss. Gigantus is covered with moss, and none of the rocks around the pit have any moss on them, which proves that he could not have been destroyed inside of the pit. Now that that theory has been debunked, let's move on to my second theory. Is it possible that Gigantus didn't stick the landing when he jumped through the hole into the ground and was killed by his fall? No. Similar to the chompy pit, None of the rocks surrounding this little ledge have any moss on them. It is not logical to say that this is where his death could have taken place. Another theory I had was that he could have possibly been killed by the Archean guard that watches over the chompy pit. But again, no moss here, no moss there. So now it's time to talk about the three scenarios that I think could have possibly happened. The first one is the possibility that since Gigantus seems to be native to the area in this level, he would have recognized the Chompy Pit for what it was, and he could have found some way to avoid it altogether. Perhaps he could have climbed onto this ledge, and then made his way over the gate and escaped. My second theory is that he was simply just captured by the Archeans. Chompy Pits are a common thing across the Skylands, and it is said that that is where the Archeans store their prisoners. It is slightly illogical that they would have not just imprisoned him in the Chompy Pit that he tumbled into. But maybe they thought it would be better to use him as a slave, since he could easily lift large and heavy objects. My third theory is that he could have been saved by an Arpoil Master. In the Mask of Power book series, it is shown that Eon can hear calls for help through his portal, and that he can summon people to his portal at will. Maybe Gigantus was attacked by Archeans, but was saved by an Arpoil Master. I believe a key piece of evidence for this theory is the fact that Gigantus was originally planned to be the life giant, instead of Tree Rex and Skylanders Giants. The Skylanders Giants are a team of Skylanders, and even though Gigantus isn't on that team, that doesn't mean that he could not have become a core Skylander. I believe that this is the most likely of my three theories. Let me know if you enjoyed the theory video guys, because I really enjoyed making it, and I would be very happy to make many more in the future. Please feel free to discuss amongst each other which theory you guys think is the most plausible, because the reason I want to make videos like this in the first place is to create discussion around Skylanders that is different from things such as top 10s, as I find that video format very stale and uninteresting. Like or subscribe if you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video.